implicated in the unaliving of a woman who stumbled upon them within her late mother's Kipps Bay flat um, are now in police custody. Um, the suspects were apprehended by the U.S. Marshals Regional Fugitive Task Force in York, Pennsylvania on Friday just before 11 a.m. 19-year-old Hallie Tejada and 18-year-old Kensley Alston were suspects in relation to the horrific unaliving of Nadia Vitell's. Tejada was detained on a local charge for keeping Vitell's stolen Lexus, with both held in the lead up to the extradition process regarding the unaliving. Vitell's, who just arrived from Spain, aimed to prepare her mother's East 31st Street flat for a family friend. Um, her mother's flat had remained unoccupied since her passing um, three to four months prior. Instead, she found Tejada and Alston living in the flat. A conflict ensued. Vitell's was struck against the wall, inducing a fatal blunt force trauma to her head. Posthumously, her body was hidden in a duffel bag. Tejada and Alston stole Vitell's Lexus and drove off via the George Washington Bridge from New Jersey heading to Pennsylvania, um, where their run ended after a car accident in Lower Paxton Township, just proximate to Harrisburg. Regrettably, Pennsylvania's local police only checked the license plate a day after the car crash, um, providing a window for the duo's escape. Uh, investigators obtained surveillance videos showing the pair unsuccessfully attempting to purchase a vehicle from various automobile dealerships for $1,000. Um, Vitell's body uh, was discovered by her concerned son in a duffel bag within the flat last Thursday. Accompanied by the superintendent and other family members, they had not heard from her for two days. Just before exiting the apartment, her son found the duffel bag um, with a foot protruding in the closet. Numerous of Vitell's things were discarded down the garbage chute. Authorities are figuring out how the supposed squatters gained entry into the property, which is only accessible via a specific elevator that opens directly into the apartment, considering the flat had no front door. Surveillance footage was obtained showing Vitell's parking her Lexus on East 31st Street before entering her flat and of the accused perpetrators departing in the vehicle post the crime. As always, thank you so much for subscribing and following.